Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing how to generate brain map from electroencephalography data for efficient channel selection. We will be using S Loretta software for this purpose. Now let us come to the point that how to get started. For downloading the software, you have to write simply download S Loretta in Google. The first link will be the official link of the Loretta key software package. Now here, uh, from here, you can see the down the download option is there for Loretta key software package. Here are different uh, references and uh, this description of the thing. Now if you click on the seventh point, you will be seeing that Loretta setup.exe file is getting downloaded. Now after its after the completion of its download, this Loretta key will be extracted. That means if you just run the .exe file, then you will be able to extract it will be a zip file so you have to extract it and after extraction this type Loretta key folder will be there in your download folder or, or whatever uh, or wherever you have downloaded the thing there you will be finding this Loretta key folder now inside that Loretta key folder Loretta key.exe you have to right click on and then you have to run it as administrator in my case it is already installed but still i am showing you how to install it it is very simple process like any other software just doing next next and next the thing will do and here is another dot ext you, uh, upon completion of the um, software installation you can create the shortcut in your desktop so for creating the shortcut in your desktop you have to click on loretta desktop shortcut creator.exe you have to right click on it and then you will be finding the same option run as administrator there you will be finding one prompt to enter your password now what is the password? This zero error, zero error loretta.txt file contains the password of installing the software. Now the password is zero error loretta, zero, zero z, errors e and loretta's l will be in capital. Here is the extract option. Here you need to write the password you can check whether you have entered it right or wrong now ok upon clicking ok as i have already installed these things they are uh, prompting me to replace the existing file if you want to uh, replace the existing file then you can do yes to all otherwise you can cancel it because i have already installed it so i will be cancelling it but you have to now actually uh, whenever you will be first time installing it you won't have this type of prompt because confirm file replace there is no file so no concept of replacing the existing things so i am now pressing the cancel button but if you just proceed with that then you will be seeing this type of thing and upon right clicking on this loretta desktop shortcut creator you will find a run as administrator option and then you will be finding one desktop shortcut now you have to click on one then you have to read the terms and conditions then yes i agree you have to click on now you can find one shortcut in your desktop so if you double click on it you will be seeing this type of prompt now what you have to do is you have to go to the utilities tab at first one new window will open this window will open now this per, uh, the first option will be automatically selected 
but if it is not selected then you can select it manually like this you can select many options the first step will be to create the electrode names file so how can you create for my for this particular video i am considering the database for emotion recognition system game emo which is publicly available in kaggle so from kaggle i have downloaded all the folders which actually signifies s01 means subject 1 s02 means subject 2 and if you go inside the s01 you will be seeing three types of folders sub folders one is pre processed eeg data one is raw eeg data and one another one is sam ratings sam ratings is related to this particular data set so i am not going into that much depth now but what i can do is i can i, um, I can open the raw eeg data the data is in uh, two formats one is csv format another one is dot mat format for the sake of simplicity i have considered the dot csv format what, uh, what i have already downloaded in my folder now i have this s01g1.csv what does it mean this particular thing means subject 1 has played game 1 actually the data set contains uh, the data from 14 subjects and 4 games so for the subject 1 and game 1 this type of data was there and whether uh, column heads are the electrode uh, eg electrodes only so a3 a4 f3 a4 f7 f8 fc5 fc6 o1 o2 p7 p8 p7 and p8 are the eg electrode names from where the data has been recorded and outcome is the class label actually here whatever the user processed with emotion like HAPV means high arousal positive balance HANV means high arousal negative balance this type of class levels were there but uh, now we are not concerned about that because we are we will be just processing this particular EEG data that means without the class level we will be processing or we will be selecting channels from this particular set of channel now in the utilities tab what you have to do is you have to create a text file at first which will be containing the electrode channels only how can you create you can go to the new option wherever you want to store that you can go to the text document here you can paste the eg electrodes from here so a a3 enter a a4 enter f3 enter f4 enter f7 enter f8 enter fc6 enter sorry fc5 was there fc5 then fc6 then o1 then o2 then p7 then P8, then T7 and T8. These are the electrodes. So after completing all the electrodes, you have to save as it with any name you can give. Electrode. Suppose I am giving electrode dot txt. I had one uh, dot txt file already named as electrodes dot txt. So here I have named it otherwise electrode dot txt and you have to save it so now my folder contains two files uh, which i already created and which now i have created so this electrode.txt has to be loaded in the utilities folder so you can minimize the tab and you can drag and drop the electrodes.txt here the path is only mentioned and upon dragging and dropping the electrodes file you have to go to the go option now upon clicking the go option it has showed me the it, that it has finished so what you can see in your folder is a new file which is having dot sxyz as its extension now in the utilities 
folder only, utilities uh, window only you have to go to the fourth option that is the electrode coordinates to transformation matrix what you have done over here is you have just um, converted your electrodes.txt to its corresponding coordinate file that is having extension sxyz now this sxyz will be used to transform uh, used to convert it into transformation matrix so going to the fourth option you will be able to see this type of thing here you have to load the sxyz file that means whatever you have got from the last step that you have to load it over here and then you have to convert it into its corresponding transformation matrix now you can choose the zero error tomography it can be s lorator or e lorator you can choose any one and regularization method can be none over here and this option is for uh, bad electrodes if you want to input uh, bad electrodes also then you can go to the yes option but here i'll be not inputting the bad electrodes so i'll be going to the no option and then i will go, go to the go option now upon clicking on the go option it will take some time to interpolate the electrode coordinate file and it is actually creating now the transformation matrix let's wait for some time see here one to dot txt was file was there electrodes dot txt was also there now upon interpolating during this phase this new file has been over here i can delete this one as i have already saved it with dot txt extension meanwhile what you can do is you can convert your csv file this thing i have already shown to you this csv file convert can be converted by selecting all and by creating a new text document here you can paste it though it is showing some in some haphazard way but it will be actually considering this minus 33.0205 under the a3 this minus 15.1846 under the a4 it will automatically adjust the length so no no worry to for the haphazard situation you can after clicking on this okay outcome file won't be uh, sorry outcome uh, column is not needed over here only dot eeg file is needed so outcome outcome you can delete or uh, you can whenever you will be selecting the file you can omit the outcome so this portion needs to be selected only and then you can copy and paste it over there now i will be just as i already have this file so i will be creating its dot eeg so i am naming it eeg file and i will be saving it with dot eeg extension as i will be needing it in the next step so dot eeg and i have saved it so my dot eeg file is ready and utilities um, and in the utilities uh, window the electrode coordinate to transformation matrix conversion is also done so i'll be pressing on ok now i'll be going into the previous step where the for the first time this laureta screen appeared here i actually selected utilities for this transformations now as I have completed the transformation, I will be going into the viewer tab. So viewer tab I have selected.
by default this type of pictures will appear now what you have to do is you have to open the electrode coordinates by over here so for doing that you have to go to the fifth sorry uh, sixth option in the tab and sixth tab you have to go to the open electrode coordinates file open electrode coordinates file electrode coordinate file is having dot sxyz extension so you have to go to the sxyz you have to select it and open it it has opened now you have to go to the open transformation matrix file upon clicking on file you have to choose the open transformation matrix file now open transformation matrix file will be prompting me to in, uh, load the spinv file that means the last file which was generated upon clicking on the electrode coordinate to transformation matrix option so electrodes dot spinv file i have opened now i have to open the eeg or er file in this case as i have already shown you how to create the dot eeg file i have created it and upon going to the data set description you will be able to see the sampling rate uh, following which the eeg data has been taken so in that particular data set the sampling rate was set as 128 hertz so this this has been written over here in uh, suppose in one data set it is uh, shown as 512 hertz then you have to change it over here and then you have to cl uh, click on ok if there is on any offset you can write it over here as in my case there is no offset value so i have put it over, is, uh, over here as zero next upon clicking ok you will be uh, prompted to load the eeg file now s01 and uh, g1.eg that means for the subject 1 and game 1 the eeg file was created so that i have loaded i have opened it so eeg based on different channels the eeg waves have been shown over here in different time frames and what is the aim we have here the slice viewer we have here the 3d cortex or scalp electrodes now upon clicking on this left right top bottom front and back six types of views of our brain from that particular our brain i won't say from that particular subject that particular eeg data these are the activations of different regions of brain so upon clicking on left the left view of the brain of particular subject has been shown now upon clicking right the right view of the brain of that particular subject upon playing game one has been shown now the top view of the brain is this now the bottom view of the brain is this front view is this and back view is this now if you want to see five views at once then you can click on this five views and you can maximize the thing over here you will be seeing that five views are shown now if you want to see six views that means left right top bottom front and back together then you will be seeing this type of output where the first one is the top view second one is the back view third one is the left view then fourth one is the bottom view fifth one is the front view and sixth one is the right view so all the six views of the brain have been shown over here and the activated regions have been colored with yellow and orange and red the activated channels we can select with this and optimal channel selection can be done in this uh, from a very big amount of channels only the relevant channels according to the particular activity the subject is doing we can select the activated channels